What is going on YouTube? Just helping you out here. And in this video, I am going to be building the mission models contained in bag 3 for the FLL Super Powered 2022-2023 game. Contained in this bag is the fuel truck, and in order to successfully build it, you are going to need these two bags labeled number 3, as well as this unlabeled bag. Alright, let's get into the build, and I hope you enjoy the video. Alright, so for the first step, you're going to be needing 6 long blue pins, and a size 11 dark gray beam. You know that beam is size 11 because it has 11 holes. And now you want to insert the long end of these blue pins all the way through the following holes. So the first one's going to go at the very end. Then you're going to skip a hole and insert one here. Then you want to insert one next to that. Then you want to skip three holes, insert one, insert one next to that, and then finally the last one will go in the end hole. Now you'll be needing two black pins and two of those dark gray T's. And what you want to do is insert the black pin into this center hole of each T. So you should have two identical pieces. And now what you want to do is you want to flip each of these around and then you want to insert these two holes onto these two pins on both sides. You just want to make sure that when you do that, the upright of these two T's are pointed upwards and the black pins are facing away from you. Now you'll be needing two of these size 5 red beams, and you are going to insert one onto these two pins and one onto these two pins. Now you'll be needing two of those red pieces that are part pin and part axle, and two of those red pieces that have a pin and an axle hole on top. And the first thing you want to do is insert the axle part of this red piece into the axle hole of the other piece. So you should have two identical pieces. And now you want to insert those all the way through these two top holes. Now you'll be needing two black pins and two dark gray T's. And you are again going to insert the black pin into the center hole. So you should have two identical pieces. And now you want to insert these just like this onto these three pins and these three pins. And again, you want to make sure that these two black pins are facing outward like you did on the other side. Now you'll be needing a size 15 dark gray beam. And you want to insert this red pin into this end hole right here. And then the other red pin will connect into this hole right here. Now you'll be needing three long tan pins. And now you want to insert the short side of these tan pins into the following holes. The first one is going to be two holes to the left of this red pin, so one, two. The next one is going to be two holes to the right of this red pin. And the last one is going to be four holes from the end. Now you'll be needing two long blue pins, two black pins, and three size 7 dark gray beams. And the first thing you want to do is insert the short side of the two blue pins into one of those dark gray beams, two holes from either side. And then you're going to take another one of those dark gray beams and put it onto those two pins. 
Just make sure that it's centered so it lines up with the first beam. And then you're going to do the same thing again with this beam. And now finally, you're going to insert the two black pins, one into this hole and one into this hole. And now what you want to do is you want to flip this piece over and then you are going to insert this black pin right here into this hole right here. And when you do that, just make sure that this gray piece is pointed upwards. Now you'll be needing one of those dark gray bent beams, one of those dark gray pieces that has a beam hole, one of those red pieces that's part pin and part axle, and one of those size 3 gray axles. You know that axle is size 3 because if you hold a beam up to it, you'll see that it spans three holes, making it a size 3 axle. And now the first thing you want to do is insert that axle into the axle hole on the short side of this bent beam. Just make sure it goes to the other side and no further. And then you want to take the axle part of this red piece and insert it into the other axle hole. And then finally, this dark gray piece, you're going to put it on top of that red pin all the way down. And now you want to insert this gray axle into this end hole right here, and then this red pin into this top hole right here. Now you'll be needing one of those red pieces with an axle hole in each end and a size 15 dark gray beam. First you're going to insert this gray axle into this red piece. And now you're going to connect this beam to these three pins right here such that this end hole aligns with this red piece that you just put on. Now you'll be needing three long tan pins and you are going to insert the short side of those pins into the following holes. The first one is going to be four holes from the left. The next one is going to be two holes to the right of this red pin, so one, two. And then the last one will be two holes to the left of this red pin. Now you'll be needing one of those dark gray bent beams, one of those dark gray pieces that has a beam hole, a size 3 gray axle, and one of those red pieces that's part pin and part axle. This is going to be similar to what was done previously. The gray axle is going to go into this hole right here. The axle part of this red piece is going to go into the other axle hole. And then this dark gray piece is going to go all the way down on that red pin. And now you want the gray axle to go all the way through this hole and the red pin to go in this hole. Now you'll be needing four of those long blue pins, two of those size 11 yellow beams, and two of those yellow plates. And now what you want to do is insert the short side of these blue pins into this hole and this hole on both plates. And then you are going to take the size 11 yellow beam and center it onto those two pins. And you need to make two of these. So you should have two identical pieces. And now you want to attach the end hole here and the end hole here onto these two black pins and these two black pins. Now 
Now you'll be needing four black pins, two of those curved yellow plates, and one of those flat yellow plates. And now one thing that I would like to point out is that these flat plates do have a top and a bottom. This right here is the top, it's mostly smooth, and if you flip it over, you see we have this hole in the middle, and that's how you know it's the bottom. So the first thing that we wanna do is have this plate top face up, and then we're gonna insert the black pins into these two end holes on both sides. And now we wanna take these curved plates and insert the middle hole here and the middle hole here onto these two black pins on both sides. And now you are going to take that piece and insert the four corner holes onto these four blue pins. This next step requires a variety of pieces, two black pins, two of those red bricks, that one white brick, that one black shiny brick, and finally that black brick with five beam holes. Now the first thing you're going to do is take that black brick and insert a black pin into the two end holes. Then you want to take that white brick and put it on the four studs in the middle on the top of that brick. Then you want to take the red bricks and put them on either end of that white brick. And then finally the shiny black brick will lay across the top. And now you want to take those two black pins and insert them into these two holes. Just make sure that when you do that, the shiny black brick is pointed upwards. Now you'll be needing those two small wheels and a long blue pin. And what you want to do is put those two wheels onto the long end of that blue pin. And then you are going to insert this blue pin right here into the middle hole right here. You will now be needing these six wheels and these six tires. Now one thing I'd like to point out with these wheels is they do have two different sides. So you'll see this one has these almost like spoke looking things. And then on the other side, you'll see it has those dimples on the inside. And so the first thing we want to do is just put these wheels into the tires. So you should have six identical pieces. And now you want to insert each of those onto the six tan pins that are sticking out. Just make sure that you have this side with those dimples facing outwards. This is now your completed fuel truck, and it should look just like this.
Now, just before we finish up this video, there is one thing that I would like to point out. If we take a look at this bag labeled number three, you'll see that we have a few extra pieces. We have one of those red bricks, one of those dark gray pieces that has a beam hole in it, and one of those black pins. If you have something similar, do not be worried. Typically they include extra pieces, usually the smaller ones. In case you happen to lose one, you'll have a spare and it won't be a huge deal. All right, so this is the completed fuel truck and that is the mission model contained in bag three. And so that's about it for this build video. Feel free to check out all our other Lego videos in the playlist in the top left corner. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a like, leave a comment if you have any questions or an idea for a future video. Feel free to follow my Instagram in the description below. And lastly, please don't forget to subscribe and tell your friends about my channel so I can grow and help more of you guys out. I'm just helping you out. See you in the next video.